Did you work your way up to the dog park? Like making, oh, you've never been? No. <laughs> making him sit all the way up to the park. Every yeah. once in a while, okay. when I'd see him not engage, yeah. me, I would try to get his attention again. Okay. He'd, he'd see a dog and get his attention and really pull me on the leash. So is he going nuts on the leash? Yeah, he constantly has resistance. Okay. On the leash. And that's why I try to get him to sit so he kind of goes to the normal pace. Boots yeah, do that's that, good. And then he stops. But is he going nuts? Like he's like lunging at dogs? To certain dogs with yes. you too? To certain dogs will just. Well, he pull, had him today and I had boots. Oh. Um, he was pulling him and lunging the entire time. Oh my God. Really? Okay. We gotta work Which on it. He was like super chill, except for like three dogs that he barked no. at. But he was very He good liked for the him. Most part. I was Aww. like, be prepared, Boots may lunge at you. So, how far away um, from a dog does Boots bark? Um, like right when he gets up to them, usually, right? If he sees one far away and it's like one that irritates him, mm -hmm. he'll start, he'll start like the, the heavy breathing and the okay. pulling. And I. Make sure even like this, call him back to you first. Ooh. Just get his focus once. <clears throat> no, Boots. Oh, he's eating grass. Back him up to the sidewalk. Boots. Yes. Okay, now tell him, go say hi. Go say hi. So every single time, I know, he, he, like even if he doesn't care though, you should get him in the routine of it. Yeah. So he doesn't care, so do some dogs so that interactions go like that yeah sometimes he doesn't care oh okay. but like i don't usually come up to other dogs but like walking by them sometimes he doesn't care and sometimes he sometimes he does so okay just, but you always try to get his focus right yeah if you guys just cross the street over here you're putting bandit over threshold because a dog can come here a dog can come here yeah. to work through his issues you have to do it really controlled like maybe sit in the middle of that grass area then you could use that dog walking that way. You can use dogs walking that way and you're distanced enough. If we were sitting here with him and he sees that dog and we can't even get his focus, it's too... That's what I, today when we were out on the street and he would see a dog and I would have a treat in his face. Nothing? Nothing. You're, then you have to really take time to work on it and distance. Okay. Yeah. It was just too much. Too much. If you literally, that's exactly it. If you have the treat in his face, do you want me to take him? Pulls, that's what he does. Yeah. If you're not gonna look, we're backing up right away. So no more with him. No more like bandit, bandit, bandit. He has two seconds to look, and if he doesn't, we back up. Sit. Yes. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Yes. 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 <laughs> up here. Up here. Yes. Uh, 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 uh. Yes. Up here. My God, it's an arm workout. Sit. Yes. Hey. Look. <gasps> Bandit. <laughs> no crawling away from me. Okay, go say hi. Good boy. Right here. It's Grizzly. When you're working up to something, how I was like this, a lot of the times he starts walking before you even do. Yeah. So then it's like, ah. Pull him right back. Which I do. And then try to go really slow, get his focus, show him he's walking with you. Come, he needs to follow you. Good. Okay, go say hi. Go get him. Go get Grizzly, get Grizzly. Get him, get him, get him. If I have to reset him, no treats, yes, just yes. Now I'm gonna take one more step. Yes, I'll give it to him even though he jumped. I mean that we can tune that up. That means he had too much focus. That's better. Look. <laughs> yes. Look at his I know it's sticking out. Ready? One more step. Yes. Because his thing is he feels movement or sometimes he doesn't even and he's like, oh, that means no focus on you. And this keeps him controlled when you're walking to be like, OK, I'm watching you. So once he gets one step, you can increase to like two steps and then stop. Not bad, but he went forward, so I'm ahead of me, and so I'm not gonna give him a treat. Yes. Yes! 
Ready? Bandit? Oh. That was good. Yes! It's just like stopping when you stop. I think a lot of his issues stem with the foundation of zero focus in general being in his own world. Because you see there, like let's see what he does with this dog. Oh, here now he's more on alert. Bandit, come! <gasps> yes! Do this type of training like 10, 15 minutes, but if you actually try to do it like on your long walk, you're gonna go nuts just staring at him. When you're on a long walk, do a lax leash walking. So he's walking, and basically you'll say his name three times. Bandit! Yeah, during the day. Bandit! Oh, yes! Good! He looked, if he, you'll say his name three times. If he doesn't look on the third time, make him sit. And so like he's, yeah, and he's kind of pulling, you know, so it's bandit. Oh, good. First time checked in. Yes. Bandit. Yes. Good. And then it will turn into basically you're just total focus. Bandit. Yes. 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 Bandit. You got a really good Bandit. But you locked him in like that, he was like. Yeah. You just have to do that more. No, that's what I, that's the thing. I think on the walk to the outside gate, that's what we'll do. Just set the walk yeah. up. Yep. Yeah. Set the foundation.